Hi guys! So, welcome to another craft with me video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this ruler bound journal. And this one's just a tiny one, we're going to make a bigger one today. But this is just an example that I made last night just to kind of see how I liked it. And I really like it. And so if you remember, I bought these, um, what are they called? The screw posts. Yeah, a screw post. And I bought these from Hobby Lobby and this was in my last haul. And I have them in silver. They're around here somewhere. Of course, when I need them, I can't find them. Here they are. So these are the ones that we're going to be using and they're the silver ones. Technically, this side is supposed to be the side that's up, but I like the screw side better. I just think it looks cute. So let me tell you what we're going to be needing and then I'll show you how I made it. So of course, you're going to be needing one of these rulers, but these are the like the super, uh, they're not even real wood. You know what I mean? It's like the ply. No, I don't know what it is. It's it's just a really, really lightweight wood. And I think I got this, if I'm not mistaken, I think I bought this one at, um, where did I get it? Dollar Tree, I believe. So look at this. This has this little metal strip and I, and I thought it should be easy enough and sure it sure is to take out that strip just with some pliers so there it is took out the strip and just with my knife my craft knife I kind of measured where I wanted to cut and I already cut this one down so that you don't have to watch me do all of that so I cut it down and what I did was for this one I just kind of measured out where I have these um, holes already to kind of use as my guide and so I'm going to be using these two holes and that's just going to be an extra little bonus <laughs> we don't need that one but if you don't have the holes where you need them or if your ruler is solid let me tell you if you have a crocodile this bad boy then this will actually go through your um ruler if you get the the really thin the lightweight um wooden ruler then i tried it and it went straight through not a problem this is stronger than you think let me tell you and so i was able to make a second hole and there it is i may i put it right where i wanted it and that's where um that's where I was able to have it. So let me kind of give you a run through of how I did this. So here I actually have them all the same length. I didn't put them on both sides because my post was not um, long enough to put the ruler on both sides of the binding. So I just have just regular Tim Holtz cardstock in the back. But what I did was so that I can bind them all together and be still be able to open it is we're gonna score it at the one inch because my ruler is one inch wide and so I just scored it at the one inch and like that it's easier to flip through and so I just made just you know a few little pockets here and there I used my rub-ons so we're gonna be using that just because I think it might be easier for the thinner paper to put rub-ons instead of stamping and so I just wanted to use my rub-ons that I got from the Tim Holtz specimen so I used a few of those and I have some other ones that we're gonna be using and so I use some specialty paper and then here's a tuck up top and there's another these are rub ons and I just decorated a little bit there I still wanted to have places where you can actually journal on but I just thought that this was really cute Look at that. This is the cicada wing paper. And a lot of my specialty paper I did end up getting at Timu. And here's just a little side tuck here. I put that little guy there. And then some more. And then this is the back. And there it is. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is of course cut it down 
and punch your holes wherever you need it. So I already did that. I don't want to have to bore you with all of that. And, oh, excuse me. And I also cut um, my paper down to size. And so this is what I did. I just decided how big I wanted it. So this is the paper. And you need to make sure that you keep an account that you're going to have one inch lost. So you're gonna make sure, you need to make sure that this is pretty wide enough. So with this one, this one is um, five and three quarters. This is five and three quarters of an inch. And so with that, I ended up using, this is four and a quarter. So this is a four, this is four and a quarter with five and three quarters. And that's it. So you just kind of measure out. So I didn't want to bore you with that either. So I went ahead and I cut in advance so that you can actually see me put it together. And if we have time, we'll decorate it. So there it is. Now I've already scored most of my paper um, at the one inch mark. So I'm going to finish doing that with these. So what I do is I just score right where we're going to be doing the binding. Score it at one inch and then I actually fold it just so that it already has that um, fold ready to go. And you're not trying to fold afterwards. So we're just going to finish folding these. All of them are at the one inch mark. With some of the papers, because they have a different thickness, you just want to make sure that you don't press too hard when you're um, scoring because you don't want to rip it. And then this is my this is my back cover. And we're gonna see how thick this is. I'm not sure. Um, because they're all different thicknesses of my papers, um, I'm not sure how thick um, I could actually keep it. So we're just going to go with the flow and see how we do it. So here it is. These I did not fold already. Let me just fold these down. The specialty ones, these I didn't, I didn't fold because... I was afraid that I was going to rip it. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. <laughs> so let's go ahead and flatten this out. And pat everything down into place. And if you cut and you're not, um, you know, you've got little stragglers sticking out more than the others. Then what I do is I get my ruler, a steel ruler is preferred, and then you get your cutter, you put your steel ruler right at the edge, and then you just start little by little trimming down the layers that you need to cut. And then there it is. So with this, what we're gonna do to go ahead and bind it, this is gonna be super fast, only because I already have all the steps done. But just because, you know, you just measure out whatever, you know, size that you want for yours, and that's it. So everybody's size is going to be different unless you want to completely follow along with mine. Then, of course, you're welcome to do so. So I'm going to put this here, and then what I'm going to do is get maybe a pen because... This is a little dark, just to mark the holes where I'm going to be putting my, I want it right at the edge. So I'm just gonna mark the holes where I'm going to be putting or punching the holes for the binding. Okay, just trying to make sure that I got I think I could do more. I'm telling you that uh, crocodile is a lot stronger than we think. If it could go through that wood, that's pretty thick. I'm thinking it could go through all of these layers. So let's go ahead and, oh, I should have opened this. And let's 
let's put it this way. Yep. And then this one. Just centering the hole that I made. And my posts, these are a little thicker than my actual um, punch. So what I'm going to do is grab a pencil and I'm just gonna stick it in and widen the hole just a tiny bit. Look at the difference, you see that? So that's what we're gonna do every time we punch. So I'm just pushing it through so that it'll go. Okay, now let's see if I can get these. Let me mark the hole. I can use a pencil for this one. Well, that pencil is not very sharp. So let me make sure that I have these stacked up right where I need them. And then I think I'm gonna clip this just so that they don't move. Then we can go ahead and punch. and get my pencil, widen that hole on both sides, and then clean that off. even up my my punches here okay let's go ahead and get this one and then I need the screw side for both so these again I bought I think they're 10 they're 10 sets for the gold is a dollar 29 but this one was 99 cents so Talk about a steal, right? Okay, I'm gonna actually put this side, the flat side, I'm gonna put on the bottom. But we need to see first if it's gonna fit all the way through all of my papers and the ruler. So let's see. I think I need to put it through this way. There it goes, much better. Okay, now I think that this might be too thick or it might work since that's gonna be screwed down. I think it's gonna work. Okay, so let's do this side now and then put the post through here. Okay. And I'm gonna lay this flat on my desk so that I can put this on, perfect. And then holding it down, I'm gonna screw these on. Just get that down for now. And then I can use my little screwdriver to tighten the bolts. So, ta-da, my little screwdriver. <laughs> I have my bigger set, but I didn't want to take it out. And now with this, because you can't really hold the back from turning, so that's probably as tight as I'm gonna get it. But, oh, how cute is that? There it is. 
there's your your book so we're gonna fold it just to kind of get it going but oh my gosh I am going to ink around this because I don't want it to look so new I do want it to look a little bit grungy I'm just using the leftover ink that I already had on this and I'm using the vintage photo. I know I keep using the vintage photo, but that's the one that I have out right now. So I'm gonna leave it. And how fast was that? Cool, right? And now you have your little journal. Is that not the cutest thing? I know I always say that, but I love it. I think it's just a lot of fun. A different way to use that. And then here's the back. And even the back looks cool with the bolts there. I think it's cool. Okay, so let's do a little bit of decorating. Do I wanna decorate the front? Only because it looks really cool already. I used the, um, the background the Tim Holtz background papers for this one. And isn't that cool? Let's just add a little bit of fun stuff, just rub-ons. So let's see. I'm just gonna keep these out and add them wherever I see. It needs a little something. We can add pockets and all of that jazz too. I do have my, my Tim Holtz scraps that maybe we could use. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so that I can take out some of these and kind of play with these a little bit. This might be cute for maybe a band here like a side tuck kind of thing. All right. Okay, let me move away the stuff that I don't use, that I don't need anymore. Just to give myself room. I don't need that. And I don't need that. I am going to be using this and this and my scissors or my little cutter. And I think we're gonna make it thinner. So let's cut this down. But if you don't wanna watch me decorate it, you know what? Then go ahead and, and go ahead and, and stop. <laughs> stop the video if you like um, but I just thought it'd be fun since the binding was super quick yeah that'll look good that'll look cute there I was gonna say good and cute at the same time I always do that do you guys do that when your brain thinks too fast and so you end up combining words it happens to me all the time but instead of being made fun of <laughs> And, you know, and kind of looking weird. I call myself out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Ooh, I like this side better. There you go. I have, I like that side better. Let me make sure that this is sometimes I try to force the glue out. And then when I open the bottle, I see that it's seeping out all on the sides <laughs> because I try to force it out too much. So I gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna ruin my bottle. So because this is going to be just the side tuck, I'm just gluing down the three sides. Yeah, I like this one better. This side is way better.
So let's see, maybe like a little number or something. How about... We'll put both of these numbers on the bottom. Put them down here. I love working with ribbons. They're so much fun. I know that technically I can take out my stamps, but sometimes I think this might look a little bit cleaner depending on the type of paper that you're using. If it's very porous, I feel like the stamps don't look very well. So there's that. We'll add little things into them later. I could add a little something here or here at the top, put chronicles. Put that there. So now all we're doing is decorating it. Just adding maybe little tuck spots, little pockets. Cute, right? And then here, maybe I can add a pocket on the bottom. How about this? Yeah, this will look good. I don't want to put it too much at the end because we still need to flip the paper over. So, let me mark it. About maybe here. I guess at that line, I'll leave the pocket that length, I mean that height, I'm just going to cut it down. And then because I have the sides or the corners punched, I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to get my, I'm going to put a little thumb notch in this one. it a little bit put this down come on didn't leave it that long okay there it goes again just the three sides there's a little glue there, I don't want it to glue down. And then putting that uh, kind of at the edge. Because I cut this down, I, I could have just left this side open so it would have been easier to put things in and out, but that's okay. Should I put something there? How about a bug? Or I wonder how the moth would look there. Let's see. Let's cut the moth out. Put it right in the middle. I'm shaking my desk. looks cool right okay let's keep going leave that I can maybe put like something here do I want to add something else how about one of these butterflies these again I think I got on Timu I think it was Timu come on This one has a couple sheets each and they're different. What's happening? That didn't want to come out. Let's do 
Mm, this one would match. But do I want it to match? Yeah, let's do it. I don't want it to stand out too much. So let's cut this out. And let's see how these work. This is gonna be my first time trying this one. Let's put it down here. See, for paper like this, I feel like this, the rub ons are perfect. Now it's just making sure that the quality is just as good as the Tim Holtz ones and that they'll actually transfer on pretty well. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna lift this up just a tiny bit slower than I normally would just to make sure that everything's coming off. Oh, it did. <laughs> that looks so cool. Look at that. Very nice. Yep, they work great. Okay, here definitely needs something. Let's see what else do I have. Should I put this plant? Oh, oh wait, I have, I have these huge numbers from Dollar Tree. Look at this. Let's put a big number on it. Hold on, I'm trying to take it out. It got stuck. Okay, let's do maybe, uh, let's do this number four. This four looks cool. So let's put this one here. I think on the thicker papers is where we can put like our little tuck spots. But for these, we're just gonna decorate them and make them look pretty. These I know work good because I've used these before. So don't skip out. I used to get a lot of the, the Dollar Tree stickers, but that's when I was doing, I called it my junk journal, but I'm thinking that technically it's called a glue book when you just like to do different collage, you know, putting stickers and papers and stuff just on one page, and then you keep that in your journal. That's what I thought a junk, a junk journal was. But I hear people calling it glue books because you glue things down. I don't know. What do you call it? I need to know because I know that this would be called or considered a junk journal because, you know, it's got a bunch of different stuff in it. This one needs something. Let's see. What else do I have? A word. I have these. I can put explore. Discover memories. Let's open this one. This one I haven't used yet. So on this one, let's put um, memories, I guess. Let's do this memories. top the good thing with these is that you can kind of see already it rubbing off so that you can tell what corners need a little bit extra attention <laughs> but these do really good I really like these so don't skip out on the rub-ons from Dollar Tree if you've if you haven't tried them yet I have a whole collection of them and I don't use them enough so I thought that this might be fun to use them 
There it is. Very cool. Okay. Let's keep going. Isn't that fun? I added one of these. I had just gone to town and used a lot of my um, embossing folders. And I just started embossing different papers. And I just keep them in a little um, pack. And so I just thought sometimes it would be kind of cool to keep them to keep them on hand. This is a good one to put something on. Maybe like a little flower or something. Let's see these. Um, yeah, maybe something darker. I like that red one down there. I was going to say I didn't want anything too bright on here. But yeah, that darker one would be cool. Very cool. So let's take that one out. I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do after this. But let's take this one. Put this one off on the corner. Just so that it has a little bit of something there. Come on. I can't even take it off now. This is very thick. I feel like it's kind of like vellum. So we'll put this about here. Ooh, that's gonna look pretty. Now with this one, you can't tell. Not like the Dollar Tree ones. This one, you can't really tell where it needs it and if it's even going on the paper. But we're just gonna make sure that we get every little nook and cranny and then lift slowly. Very nice. Okay. This one, I think, well, let's do a pocket on this. And so this one, let's do something else. Maybe one of these, one of these big ones. Let's do one of these big ones. Or, let me see. Um, identification check. How about this? I'm going to put these three. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I think it looks cool. We're going to put a little bug. We're going to keep it like this. Should we do it down here? Yeah, that'll look cool, right? So let's put this here. Yeah, that's going to look really cool. Sorry for shaking my desk. But this is a fun, I feel like this is a fun little project to do because Technically, to bind this book with the ruler, and if you have the ruler and, and the posts that I was telling you about, being that both are just a dollar, this is a very simple way. And then I also like the fact that you don't have to like double up on the paper. It has to be like extra wide so that you can fold it in half. This one, you can just use, you know, just the one piece. So I think that's really cool. Okay, this one definitely needs some type of pocket or belly band. Maybe a belly band. We haven't done that yet. Are these little... Oh, these are little journal cards that I made. We can keep those out and put them in here. This one, let's see. Oh, how about this? Let me see. How about maybe this side? Ooh. I had this done from a prior project and luckily I kept it. Let me just, I think I glued it down and I ended up taking it up because I didn't want it there anymore. But this will work out perfect. I might need to just trim off just a tiny bit. Let me put that there. Just a tiny bit from this side up at the top. So we'll do that, 
and then C now. Perfect. Okay. Now with this one, I'm not going to glue this side. I'm just going to glue these, the two sides. And then we can put those down. Okay. So we'll put this here. That was easy. Perfect. Now this, let's see, should we leave it or put another little something? Let's just put, um, let's just put, oh wait, I have one that's already out. What does this one say? No, that one. I had another one out. I didn't think I used it yet, but I guess I did. But I have this, so let's just put that one on the top. I thought I had another one that I didn't use yet. Oh no, this one. Look, it got stuck. So this one doesn't work anymore. Darn it. It got stuck to the backing of it. See? Oh well. I'll have to work with that later. Let's see what else. Let's put, mm, let's just put collector. Let's put collector number seven. Oh man, hopefully it doesn't get stuck on my finger. Point did. <laughs> the little dot did. Darn it. Gotta be careful with these things. Let's put here number seven. And then collector. Look, I still have that dot there. It won't come off. Collector number seven. Cute. This one definitely needs something. Should we put a mushroom? This is just all over the place and I don't mind it. I don't want I don't want a specific theme on this. I just thought that it was going to be fun to make and just decorate it, whatever. I like this one on the bottom. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do this one scissors this is fun it's just like I love working with stickers and I don't use them enough but this is fun too put this down here pocket here um, let's see what else do we like maybe a thin belly band or maybe a, a top 
top tuck spot up here. Let's do that. I'll just cut it down right where that line is. And then punch that top corner. I need a little bit more of my ink here. And now I can glue this down here and I'll put it like this, my little top tuck. Put glue. We're almost done. Leave that. Isn't that fun? I love this paper. Um, let's put something on this one. Let's do these signatures on the bottom. These two signatures I think have to stick together because I feel like they're intertwined. See that? So we'll just put these up at the top or we'll put it right in the bottom, right in the middle. So good. Look at that. Okay. Maybe a little something up here. Let's do another. Should we do like a little fruity thing? No. I don't think I want to do fruit. Ooh, let's do another number. Let's see which one. Should we do number five? Put number five at the top here. And then we can just add little goodies into the uh, little tuck spots and the pockets and stuff. And of course, you know, things can be added all the time on these things and they're so much fun. We'll leave that one. I think we'll leave the vellum. It's not actually vellum, it's like, well I guess it is kind of like vellum but it's the tracing paper from Hobby Lobby. I'll leave that one too. We can put, um, actually let's see, do we wanna leave this or do we wanna add another, another little pocket to this one? This one's not very thick though, let me see. I could add a belly band to this one. Or I do have this as kind of like a little tuck spot this way. Maybe this way, just a little tuck spot, right? Let's just add a little bit of, let me add ink to my Dauber. And then we'll add, do I like this? No, I like this side, okay. The thing with double-sided paper is that you get to choose what side you want it on. I'm gonna put it about here so that it doesn't interfere with with you, you know, folding it over. But there's that. Okay, then this one needs something. We haven't done any type of little, this, like a little plant thing. 
So maybe that or that one. Let's open this up. We'll put a plant, some type of leafy botanical thing. Oops, I closed it up again. So let's take this out and then figure out. I'm thinking I like this one and I think I like that number on there too. So let's cut around both. Put that number and the leaf. Oh. <laughs> What is happening? Okay, let me try this again. Will it work? No. Oh, man. It worked. So let's see how this is going to work on here. Uh, you know, I'm not sure I like these. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there it is. Live and learn. Man. You gotta be really careful with these things and don't touch it. <laughs> I think this will come out okay though. My little plant. I think that little corner, because it folded up, I think it won't stick. But everything else is fine. But darn it, look at this. Got a whole mess on my finger now. I feel like that's going to bug some people if they still see that black on my finger. I'm just making a mess. Let's just keep going. And last few pages. This one we can actually put like another little tuck spot. Let's do a belly band. We haven't done a belly band yet. So let's see, maybe a skinny little one. There's a piece of that little skinny one. This might work, but I think I am going to cut up to that line. Or we could do this. You know, I'm not a fan of the marble, but just to kind of give it more color, I guess. And because it's already cut to the right size, I think that might look cool. I'm having to keep this open with my arm. Put this about here Oops There So there's a little belly band This these two could use a little bit more So let's see We'll put this the bug and the book number. Ooh, there's some that have really teeny tiny little ones here. But I think this would be cool. I'm going to get my tweezers for this. Because I end up touching it and then... then it gets messed up because it peels off my finger. But we're almost done. Then we'll just add little things in it and do a quick flip through. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, last thing on here. What else should we do? 
Should we add maybe another butterfly? Let's add another butterfly. I'm just reaching over, guys. Sorry. The little stamp. We'll put the stamp. This little butterfly stamp is cute. So I'm not going to say that these don't work because they do. You just have to be careful. It's my error that I kept touching it. <laughs> I kept touching the inside of these rub-ons because they are beautiful. And we can do maybe another little pocket back here. So let's see what we could use as our little pocket. Our little pocket. Let's see. I'm digging through to see what I find. Okay. I want this. I'm not sure if I want to keep them together. But that's that kind of looks cool though, right? Let me cut right here. I'm gonna keep that. And then this we'll just cut the one side or punch corner punch the one side and make a tiny little slit on this one. Just tiny because I like the wording on that. And then we can fill it up and we're done. So let's do this. Oops. I haven't used this in a while. And we're almost done. Put this here. There. Okay, let's see what we could put in here. Ooh. They would be cute in here, right? <laughs> Very cool. This one we can put. I have some tickets. Get a couple of these out. Put these in here. Come on. I need something bigger. I love using this stuff. Cool. And then got writing and vellum and embossed paper, more writing, more writing. This one we can add, ooh, this is cute. Add this card, is it too big? Yeah, it's too big, okay. So let's try something thinner. Still too big. This one. Yeah. Very cute. 
And then you have more writing, more writing, another little tuck spot. We can put this here. Very cute. Then you have your specialty paper, which I think is awesome. I love that. Oh, 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 oh. This is kind of getting stuck. I think this needs a minute to dry. But there's that. Little quotes. This one needs a little ticket. Or actually that journal card would look cute in here. This little extra journal card that I put with the captain's dinner menu on there. And then something bigger here. Ooh, butterflies. Ooh, perfect. And our bugs, butterflies, and let's see. What else could we put in here? Oh, this. I'm gonna put these. There it is. What do you think? So here's our two that we made with one ruler. Not bad, right? So there it is, guys. I hope you guys like it. This one I did put a little bit more of um, like the Tim Holtz paper dolls in there. So you can always add extra stuff to yours. And I just love it. I just think that these are so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked my little ruler bound journal. And I will see you guys. I was going to say talk. I was going to I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.